friend, right? Yes, you do. Okay. We hear the voice of one who calls to us to come and find rest. We do not burden with much, but will heed the voice of Jesus. May we be made rich. No. We have much to learn from him, and he will give us all that we need. May we be made ready to receive the joy of Christ and empowered to live in it. Okay. Do you sit down here or do you stay standing? It says stay standing. <laughs> Let me children and say Jesus loves me.
But I understand that the word used for yoke, uh, that the yoke is easy, is that the yoke fits well. The yoke fits well. And so in the Peterson translation, the word, I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company in you with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Uh, so Jesus is really saying to the disciples, and they're going to go through a time, they don't know it yet, but they're going to go through a time when he's taken from them. And they're, they're going to be really struggling and have a burden. What we need, and what I think I've learned to a degree, what has helped me to wean off of Xanax is that Jesus has promised that he'll help me to see a way to walk and work with him and watch how he does it. You know, one of the, uh, one of the things I, and we can all go around and talk about the things we're missing. One of the things that really hurt to lose was uh, those greasy sausage burgers, sausage and cheese that at McDonald's. It wasn't them. But, you know, I miss people there that many times opened up to me with a problem or a question. And I'm not sure when I'll ever go back. Now, on the other hand, God has allowed me to drag out some of my old poems and share them. And even if once in a while write a new one. I got one in the opera now that I, I want to talk about uh, my daddy singing in the choir. You know back in the olden days when I was a little kid? When I was a little kid? When, when daddy stayed after church on Sunday, for choir practice, there's going to be a funeral. And the choir sang at the funeral. So we raised in churches and the choir sang at funerals. Not a soloist or a duet. So I, I, I'm working in my head on that idea. What has God, you know, if, if Jesus is calling them to allow him to let us learn from him. Is he teaching you some things? To help you do something that comforts you? Does anybody want to shout out something that you've done? I'll listen. Uh, that you found meaningful? It's helpful. Judy, does it help to make masks? It does, and it helps when I knit, too. When you knit? Mm -hmm. Elmo, you've been knitting. Trying to get that hand working better. Uh, some of you make some phone calls to people you probably wouldn't have. You see, God knows, how is it said here, uh, learn the unforced rhythms of grace. Peterson put that so good. The unforced rhythms of grace. So much of the time, grace is for... <laughs> I was in my second year of preaching, and I was in Ludlow, and somebody, they usually... Fed the preacher, you know, the young bachelor, and getting fatter every week if they're eating food. And, uh,
but somebody couldn't take me out or couldn't feed me, and they paid to, for me to go to the little restaurant in Ludlow. Now you can imagine that was high dining. And I sat down there. I preached. I preached uh, that morning, and uh, I'm sitting there. And I'm tired and I'm worn out. And, and so the gal brings out some food. And, didn't look the best, but I guess it wasn't bad. I started eating, aren't you going to pray? No. Yeah. Yeah, i got to learn to make people think I'm religious, so here let me pray. Uh, no, I was wrong. Uh, but Jesus helps us to learn more how to find that grace to be more natural and unforced. I've had people in churches down through the many, many years that with a smile could melt the heart of troubled people. She may not have sang much, she may not have said much, but when you saw her on Sunday, or through the week, you knew she cared. Her grace flowed to you. Come to me. If you're troubled, if you're worn out, if you're burned out, and recover your life. I've decided maybe my death is not as imminent as I thought it was a few weeks ago, and who knows? Could be. But I'm not losing sleep about it now. Except when people shoot fireworks now until midnight. I watch less news on TV. I watch a lot more of Andy Griffith. I even watch some old movies from time to time. And then we've got a channel on there that just plays classical music. And I can sit there, read some scripture, and close my eyes. And God can help me experience the rhythm of grace. Keep company with you, with me, Jesus said, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Burdened light. We still got a tough road ahead. But in that great prayer, the word says, for it is in giving that we receive in pardoning, that we receive pardon. On and on it goes. Are you tired? Are you burdened? Jesus calls on you to draw near to him and let him help you learn how to control that which enters your life. Let's pray. God, we thank you for loving us and caring for us. We thank you for your unforced rhythms of grace. We thank you that you've been where we are and even worse. We thank you that we don't have to earn your love, but that you give us more love than we could ever deserve. So bless us, Lord. We come to you, but also we ask you, Lord, to, to send us out, tell us to go and share that same love when the chance 
comes our way. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. You were given a little packet and a uh, chant and a chalice. God, we thank you that you gave your blood. And tonight that we just talked about a while ago at the Last Supper, you took the bread and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take and eat. This is my body broken for you. And in like manner, you, you lifted the chalice and said, This is my blood of the new covenant, which was shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. God, we pray that you will bless the bread and the wine, even though it's in a different container. It's in a different container than Christ himself when he first encouraged us to do this. So use this as another means of your grace to draw us closer to you. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Another thing I like about this is we can all do it at the same time, isn't it nice? Uh, so, if you'll take the, uh, let's see if I'm doing it right. Get a glass of down here, that'll help, right? If you slide your nail up under the, the clear, the yeah. clear one comes off to reveal the wafer. Okay. I think I was going to get the... There we go. Larry, that doesn't sound too pious. Okay, thank you. And you all got, got it all over. The body of, the body of Jesus broken for you. blood of Christ, which was shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Take and drink. Amen. Lord, touch our lives that we are revived through the blood and the broken body of Christ. Amen. Our closing hymn is 348, first and fourth verses, stand as you are able.
I can't bless you. Benediction is a blessing. And I can't do that. But God blesses you through me. Nothing I can do. But I'm so thankful God has allowed me to be an instrument through which he can give you peace. So that I can say to you with the utmost assurance, go in peace and share the peace of God with those in your life.